Welcome to Molecular, Cellular, and Developmental Biology. As an MCDB major, you're required to take introductory laboratory courses. To fulfill this requirement, you have two options. In your first option, you can take labs associated with Introduction to Cell and Molecular Biology and Genetics. These are one-credit labs that are offered as separate courses in the fall and in the spring. The second option is to take one two-credit research-based lab. There are three courses associated with this option and they're offered in the fall and the spring. We'll describe them here so you can make a decision about what fits best in your schedule. A phage is a virus that infects bacteria and we use mycobacteriophage, so they're viruses that specifically infect mycobacteria. We did DNA isolations and ran the DNAs on a gel to look at the size of our genomes. We did electron microscopy to see the actual phage because they're very, very small. Uh, and then at the end of the semester, we picked two phage and we sent them off to be sequenced to look at the second semester. I would definitely say take it. It's a great class. Um, it taught me a lot about the skills you need in research, the ability to be um, persistent and wanting to continue moving forward even though things may not work the first time. Um, and it's just a really great class. Dr. Guile and Dr. Philman are awesome mentors and they provide awesome um, experience and guidance in your first year. But being involved with the Phage Lab, you realize how much fun research is. I love it. <laughs> Three sections of MCDB 1161, Phage Genomics Lab 1, are offered in the fall 2016 and spring 2017. MCDB 2161, Phage Genomics Lab 2, is an elective course worth two credits. Using bioinformatics, you'll be allowed to continue your research from MCDB 1161. It's offered in the spring 2017. Antibiotic resistance occurs naturally. All bacteria develop resistance over time. The amount of time varies, but drug development cannot keep pace with this resistance, and current methods are identifying fewer than one new antibiotic per year. Students in MCDB 1171 work in collaboration with the Detweiler Lab on an ongoing project to identify novel antibiotics that are effective against salmonella. We test it with um, a list of FDA approved drugs to see if any non-antibiotics would affect the um, salmonella um, in ways that people haven't tested before. And we test it in media that mimicked macrophage so that it's more realistic of the harsh environments that the salmonella would be in in your body. One of the things that I definitely really liked about the research course is that it was more of a research environment than a regular lab. So instead of being given the procedure and exactly what you're supposed to do and exactly what you're supposed to get, it's um, open. And so the possibilities are endless as to what results you can get and because of that you kind of have to troubleshoot with your group a lot. Um, and I think that's such a fun part and such a real part of research that um, regular labs don't kind of encompass. Three sections of MCDB 1171, Antibiotic Discovery Lab 1, will be offered in fall 2016. Cancer is a very prevalent disease all around the world, and there's still millions of people um, who are diagnosed and not able to be treated. Um, so new therapies need to come into effect in order to treat all of those people. Um, and combination therapy between chemotherapy and radiation is proving to be even more effective. And so that is what we are researching. To address the problem of chemotherapy-resistant cancers, new methods are needed to identify combinatorial therapies. The laboratory of Tin Tin Su in MCDB has developed a method using fruit flies to test drugs combined with radiation therapy. Students in MCDB 2171 work in collaboration with the Sioux Lab on this project. We collected third and star larvae and then we irradiated them just like a tumor cell. We then treated them with FDA approved drugs and quantified their survival to test how well the drugs killed the larvae. One of the coolest things was I have a lot of cancer in my family and being able to go to my family members and say, hey, I'm doing cancer research was such an it's an indescribable
Three sections of MCDB 2171 Chemotherapy Discovery Lab 2 will be offered in spring 2017. To fulfill the requirement for introductory laboratory courses as an MCDB major, there are two options. The first option requires taking two one-credit laboratory courses, and the second option is one two-credit research-based course. Research-based laboratory courses are two credits each. They are MCDB 1161 Phage Genomics Lab 1, which is offered in the fall and the spring. MCDB 1171 Antibiotic Discovery Lab 1 is only offered in the fall. And MCDB 2171 Chemotherapy Discovery Lab 2 is offered only in the spring.